Good afternoon, everybody, from a nice smoky afternoon in northern Colorado. West of me here is pretty much all on fire, um, which we're hoping we get a snowstorm this weekend and we can get things put out. But just got this one out of the shop. Um, very classic. It's, it's so hard to beat a Peterbilt in solid black. Extended hood, stand up sleeper, even the flat tops look great, but this one's just uh, classic black. It's a light metallic flake in it. Um, it's a 2021 Peterbilt 389 extended hood. Ultra cab, ultra sleeper, mid roof, or stand up sleeper is what they call it. Uh, 78 inch, and I didn't do any sleeper extensions on it. I like them better without, so I'm ordering it, so I get to do it the way I want it. If you do want them, we can add them. Uh, it's best to add them from the factory. It's best to order them. It's a little tough to add them after the fact, but it can be done. Um, this is probably, I've got the paint code for this. I don't think it's in the Peterbilt paint book, but it's uh, its just absolutely, I don't know if you can see the metal flake in there. Kind of see it. It's just a beautiful black. It's one of the best blacks that Peterbilt sprays. There you can kind of see it. But good looking truck. We added uh, two extra lights on the cab like we normally do here. 14 inch drop visor. Just a very classic look. Over the years, this is the look that Peterbilt's always gone with. Button LED lights in the front and the back of the air breather. We got LEDs inside the air breather there. Polished stainless steel. Goes awesome with the black. Polished aluminum air tank there. Got a master disconnect down here and the block heater. Not sure why they both got put in the same spot. That's the first time I've seen that. Dual exhaust. Some people ask if they're both functional. and Yes, they are both functional on these. Polished stainless steel cover for the DEF tank. 110 gallon polished aluminum fuel tank. Two straps. There's that light bar that's now a federal mandate, but it's just bolted on. If you don't want it, you can pull it off. I'm sure that's not a big deal. Uh, can't do a rear rear window in a 78-inch stand-up sleeper. We did the logger mount uh, antenna for the radio, and we did the back of sleeper center mount antenna for the CB radio. And if you get a little longer one on there, it doesn't quite clear the top. Got the side windows, small sleeper doors for access underneath the, the bed or the bunk. Little exhaust pipe is how you know that it has an S bar bunk heater. Airbags for the sleeper. And since you get the toolboxes, you got to get the grab handles for the back of the sleeper. Three points of contact for OSHA. Got the walkway up there. 30 inch hose. Hog built uh, or Hogue built quarter fenders. Did Michelin's all the way around. We got the multi X, I believe, is what's up front. The rears are the XDN 2s. These are 11R 225s. If you want low pro 24s, we can switch them out. 36 inch air slide fifth wheel, Holland FW 35 fifth wheel. Um, Disc brakes all the way around. Um, that line right there tells you that this has full lockers. At least the rear one's a locker. And I know for a fact the front one is as well. We like these lights in the rear cross member. Because with the snow and ice and everything, they stay put. They don't get torn off. The wires don't get torn. All that. So just a little thing. It doesn't hardly cost anything. But... We've learned over the years to do that. Good Michelin tires on it. Got an access step on this side. Also got the jump post back here. So if you're pulling a reefer or something that requires any kind of an auxiliary engine, like a low boy, self-contained low boy or something, those jump posts you can use to start those engines. Uh, start a reefer motor, what it, uh, whatever we need to do. Got a 150 on this side. 
So you can see how nice and clean everything is. Just got metro packs, they all just clip in. So you shouldn't have any corrosion get into your wiring. Man, I like this black. It just did the arrow mirrors on this. This one is a uh, door open here. Cummins X15, 565 horse, 2050 torque. Also got an air ride steer axle. 13.2 steer axle. Disc brakes up front. We've got 40,000 pound axles on the rear. I think I forgot to mention that. 280 inch wheelbase. Uh, 336 gears. Eighteen speed transmission. Just a really good looking truck. And if you want to do more bling than this, if we want to paint the tanks and do things like we can do more. Um don't think this one's gonna last very long because it's just hard to beat. The classic classic look of uh a black Peterbilt, just solid black. Did the tan interior on this, which goes really well with the black. And this one, 18,666 pounds, dry weight. <clears throat> yeah, tilt telescope steering wheel. Get her fired up. So there's your A panel. And here's the B panel. And we don't get the extra gauges on this one over here. That's what everybody likes is if you add all these gauges up, it's 23 gauges. Add those plus those, we get 23 gauges. Um, the reason being is I've got three. I've got the inner axle diff lock, the front diff lock, and the rear diff lock. So that takes up too much room. So we lose a couple of gauges here. We could drop the PTO and pick up a gauge. But for stock trucks, we just order in the PTO. It makes it so much easier to, if you pull in a live bottom or something like that, anything that requires a PTO, that just makes it so easy. Factory mounted CB. Um, Peterbilt has in has up their game in the radio stereo department there much better it does sound better a little easier to use too 18 speed the little button there's gray um, in case anybody wanted to know and somebody asked me this the other day as I was delivering a truck this little lever down here is how you do your tilt telescope steering wheel so you push on that and that steering wheel goes wherever you want it. Up, down, whatever you want to do. So on a Peterbilt, a lot of people get in there they're fun figuring it's got to be up here on the steering column. It's not. It's that little button right there. Problem is on the older ones that cable stretches and then it doesn't work. But right, get your extra storage up there. Got the little black leather seats, fold away, fold behind armrest so you get some room. This truck happens to be a double bunk. So you can, uh, it's hard to do this one handed. There we go. So there's the double bunk. Now a lot of guys will uh, take it out. Some guys will leave it in and leave it up like that, and they use uh, use it back behind here for storage. Uh, you can do whatever you'd like. I've got power outlets there, place for a TV, microwave. Um, got the closet. Got a fridge over here. Here's where you. Uh, that's the S bar heater right there. Very simple to use. 
Peterbilt comfort control, and alarm clock. We've got a couple of power ports there. Don't know too many people that use a cigarette lighter anymore. A business center over here. And if you need these seats moved back a little bit, we carry the sit solo, the billet pieces, that you can take that base, move it back a little bit, kind of get it in towards the sleeper a little. Because these are a classic. This is the, the legacy cab is what they call it. So you have to remember that uh, they're narrow. And... Uh, why all the lights are on my kids the detail guys got a little crazy but I just thought I'd give you a quick quick view of beautiful classic truck uh, can't think of anything I'm missing right now it is just so hard to beat an extended hood Pete in black just gorgeous so it just came in just got it out of the shop we didn't go overboard on it um, just very classic black and chrome. Doesn't get much better than that. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, pray for everyone that's fighting the fires in Colorado. It's just terrible. Um, it's the first time we've seen the sun in days because of the smoke. So, uh, it's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peterbilt's Rush Truck Center in Greeley, Colorado. 970-691-3877. Or you can email me at couchk, C-O-U-C-H-K, at rushenterprises.com. Thank you for watching. Take care.